Consumers now have more choices than ever when it comes to buying a new car, including those that use alternative fuels. One of those choices is E85 compatible flex fuel vehicles. Ford reportedly introduced commercial flex fuel vehicles, FFV, as the first manufacturer in 1996, according to eSurance. Oh by the way, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Ford, GM, and Chrysler had committed to double their FFV production by 2006. FFVs are also produced by Mercedes, Toyota, Nissan, Volkswagen, and Audi. Typically, regular cars and flex fuel vehicles share a similar appearance. Often, the only distinction is that FFVs can use E85 instead of standard gas, which is a blend of 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline. Insurance claims that once the Alternative Motor Fuels Act became law, manufacturers began creating FFVs in 1988. The development of automobiles that use alternative fuels is given credit under this law. Using ethanol blends like E85 helps cut greenhouse gas emissions. During their growth, ethanol crops absorb CO2. Blends of ethanol enable better combustion, which produces less pollution. Less oil is used while using E85 by drivers. E85 can boost a car's power and performance even though it frequently lowers an automobile's miles per gallon rating by 25 to 30 percent. Flex fuel has gained popularity in the United States, particularly in the Midwest, despite the fact that some vehicles can't run on E85. Ethanol, a grain alcohol often manufactured from corn, makes up up to 85 percent of E85. Some companies also create ethanol using waste from the agricultural industry, such as cane sugar. But when was the first ethanol-powered vehicle produced? According to some sources. In the 1880s, Henry Ford built the first vehicle powered by ethanol. Additionally, he created a 1908 Model T that could run on either gasoline or ethanol. After more than a century, manufacturers are continuously developing flex fuel technologies. According to a study completed by Department of Agriculture, USDA, it turns out that corn-based ethanol has greenhouse gas emissions that are about 39% lower than those of gasoline. The report also claims that the greenhouse gas emissions are significantly lower when ethanol is refined at refineries fueled by natural gas, falling by about 43% below those of gasoline. Government financial incentives have been given to manufacturers in the past to encourage the creation of flex fuel vehicles. A manufacturer receives credit against the corporation's corporate average fuel economy CAFE, criteria for each FFV sold. These credits enable a manufacturer to sell more profitable but less fuel-efficient SUVs without incurring a federal fine. In reality, the majority of FFVs you see on the road are SUVs, whose owners choose to fuel up with regular gasoline. The environmental advantages of FFVs are largely hypothetical due to this desire. However, under the Obama administration, this incentive has shifted, and fewer manufacturers are now able to sell their cars as FFVs. Because it can be manufactured locally rather than having to be imported from the Middle East, E85 has gained appeal and media attention. Senators who represent states where maize is produced as well as organizations like corn growing associations have advocated for it since it is significantly more environmentally friendly than gasoline. E15 has been authorized for usage as of 2012 by the Environmental Protection Agency. The greater ethanol concentration of the fuel has caused several automakers, powertrain manufacturers, mechanics, and boaters to express worry that it would hasten engine wear. The Coordinating Research Council conducted a research, which Car Talk references. In a 500-hour durability cycle, the study found that E15 had harmed two out of every eight engines examined. When they did a related study, according to the Renewable Fuels Association, no engines were harmed. Now let's talk about advantages of flex fuel vehicles. 1. Fuel versatility. One of the primary advantages of flex fuel vehicles is their fuel versatility. They offer drivers the flexibility to choose between traditional gasoline and E85, depending on availability and personal preferences. With a flex fuel vehicle, you can seamlessly switch between E85 and gasoline without requiring any modifications or adjustments to the vehicle. 2. Reduced greenhouse gas emissions. Ethanol, the primary component of E85, is derived from renewable sources such as corn or agricultural waste, which helps lower the carbon footprint compared to fossil fuels. Ethanol production from renewable sources contributes to the carbon cycle, absorbing CO2 during crop growth. When these crops are converted into ethanol and burned as fuel, the released CO2 is reabsorbed by new crops, creating a closed-loop carbon cycle. 
3. Energy Security Flex fuel vehicles also contribute to energy security. As ethanol can be produced domestically, reducing reliance on imported oil, it enhances a country's energy independence. Now, let's address some common concerns. 1. Vehicle Warranty One concern is the impact on your vehicle's warranty. It's important to note that installing a flex fuel kit might void certain parts of your warranty, especially if not performed by a certified professional. 2. Fuel Availability While ethanol blends are becoming more widespread, E85 fueling stations might still be limited in some areas. I hope this video has provided valuable insights into the world of flex fuel vehicles. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences with flex fuel vehicles, let us know in the comments below. We love hearing from you. Thanks for watching.